Hello, this is Hawker the Bean, and today we are going to be reading SCP-1025, also known as the Encyclopedia of Diseases. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. I have a number, SCP-1025. Object class used to be Keter, now it's safe. Special Containment Procedures Due to its potential as a bioweapon capable of destroying all life on Earth, SCP-1025 is to be kept in an isolated underground vault, secured by no fewer than 10 armed guards, to rotate twice weekly and checked for compromised by infectious agents. The vault should be armed with a thermite mine to be detonated at the first sign of containment breach. This has been uh, revised. Revision. SCP-1025 is e kept in a passcode secured locker. Further research requires O5 approval. Description. SCP-1025 is a hardcover book of approximately 1,500 pages long. The front cover and spine feature the title, The Encyclopedia of Common D Diseases. The publisher's page indicates the book was printed in the 1900s by i.e. the redacted press. No other copies of a book with that title and publisher have been found, and no record of the publisher exists. Yeah, I guess redacted press wouldn't and be known. Readers of the book seem to exhibit symptoms of any disease they read about. The effects can take between uh, redacted and redacted hours manifest. See test log. Addendum. 102501 Test Log Subjects D and 2501 Test Subject read entry entitled Common Cold Subject observed for several hours afterward Subject exhibited cough within two hours and when asked claimed to feel slightly achy, though he attributed this to uncomfortable sleeping arrangements. Subject, 10, D, E, 102502. Test, subject, read entry entitled, Chicken Pox. Subject, observed for several hours. Results, over the course of one hour, subject observed to, who scratch at no fewer than five points on her, her body repeatedly. Subject's medical history indicated that she had contracted chicken pox at age eight. Possible evidence that I can override natural immunity is noted. Subjects D102503. Test. Subject read entry entitled Cancer of the Lungs. Subject observed for several hours. Test was to determine items' ability to accelerate advancement of illness, Ill illnesses. Result. Sarah's is uh, observed to cough for no ten, no six, no a significant amount of times over the course of redact hours, no eight. I mean within a relatively small amount of time. Dang. Thank you on crossing stuff out. Subject denied feeling any discomfort, but the observation of subjects reading indicated irregularities. Subject terminated and sent to autopsy. No tumors apparent. Note, we clearly didn't wait long enough, but we all heard the coughs and, and, and is wheezing. Subjects, 10-25-04. Previous tests repeated, but other subjects observed for seven days. Results, a lot of coughing and wheezing, far beyond what should be considered normal. Subject terminated and sent for autopsy. No, no tumors apparent. Note, what if the illness vanishes after that, making infection all the more insidious? Subjects, D102505, test same as previous. Results, same as previous, but subject sent for vivisection, utilizing data expunged hours before expiring from shock. No tumor is uh, 
apparent. Note, we have to keep trying. Imagine if this were an, or an infectious agent. Imagine if there were more books like this out there. Redone tests redact for brevity. In summary, each test used one D-class subject who read one entry from the item and was then the tester was exited in search of signs of, of infection following reported symptoms. After fi test 15, research was moved to a, a dedicated isolated facility and redacted staff by three researchers and two security. One D-class subject delivered as needed to minimize space and ration needs. Subjects D102527. Test subject read entry entitled appendicitis. Subject had undergone an appendectomy at age 16. Observed for three days. Results after 52 hours, subject complained of a stomach ache, significant abdominal discomfort. Vivisection performed. No appendix found, but everywhere appendix would normally be. It looked a few shades more red than it should be, by a general consensus of research staff. That seems incredibly unethical and unscientific to me. Subjects D102528. Formerly researcher redacted. Test. Subject had developed a persistent cough despite ever reading SCP-1025 and was placed in observation for one week. Results. Not apparent for six days. At 9.30 a.m. on day 7, the subject appeared slightly taller than the day previous. Noted as evidence that items and knowledge properties can cause generation of diseases other than those researched by the victim, and without direct being of reading material. We have a section and considered but overruled for the time being. Note. Blank got out. The crazy bastard got out some somehow. We were so stupid. The addition of, of height is a classical symptom of SCP-016 adapting to the stress of being confined in that room. Who knows or cares what he was coming down with first. There was a grating on the ceiling. A few more or feet of height and a few inches skinnier and he'd easily fit. He could be up there right now, drawing claws, vomiting infected blood everywhere, and taking who knows what other dormant diseases with him. SCP-008? SCP-742? Oh god, what if he's come down with SCP-217? Addendum 1025-02. A recovery team was sent to the facility on a redacted date after no contact was made from the facility for 72 hours. Agents found researchers redacted and redacted sealed in the observation booth, both wearing biological containment suits. Nearly all sort or air contained inks were depleted. Agent redacted was found crawling through the facility's air ducts with sight arms drawn. Researcher redacted had locked himself in the barracks with an improvised flamethrower made of aerosol cleaner and a box of matches. Later interview indicated Redacted had not climbed into the docks but simply used his passcode to leave the observation chamber while the other researchers were distracted. Agent Redacted was found dead in a supply closet locked from the inside, with several empty bottles of water and ration packages. The door had been given an airtight silt with garbage bags and duct tape. Note, after careful review of all research on SCP-1025, I'm ordering immediate evacuation of whoever approved the use, immediate evaluation of whoever approved the use of 27 D-class subjects and a, an isolated facility and a dedicated underground bunker on this money pit. Not one out of the ordinary infectious agents was found any place this item was tested. And every involved staff member had passed a basic psych exam within the previous year. I have no idea how for or if the chain of command is hypochondria uh, by proxy effects can reach or how it works, and frankly, I see no benefit in learning. 
stick it in a box, lock it up, and for God's sake, try not to worry about it. O5 Redacted. Gotta say, they're kind of right. These have kind of... <laughs> I'm not sure if this actually gives you disease or if it just makes you feel the symptoms from what you understand about the disease. Anyway, if you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!